This is a road used by cocoa farmers of the lower Watut area during the dry season. It's a shorter route that would cost much less in terms of transportation if attention was given to this location. This is what our lay crew member encountered while en route to the banks of the Watut River. For the farmers, it's a daily struggle to get cash crops to the market. But this region is one of the richest in terms of the cash income that comes to the riverside population. Cocoa revenue going directly into the pockets of farmers and their families is about 1.2 million kina every year. Well, now yet an increase blow when my farmer all increasing cocoa garden blow all and by Suruki goes 2 point something million kina and by every year by him flow in child here. So me blah look strong long, big blah look strong blow me blah cooperative blow making all man Mary must benefit now all must sustain him all family and look out in good family blow. While the cash income is relatively large, the standard of living has seen minimal improvement. Infant and maternal mortality rates remain high, and this is largely due to transport difficulties and poor access to hospitals. 2,000 plus all pharma or cluster groups or the affiliate inside long uh, cooperative society. In the last six years, Watut farmers have received a lot of international attention after gaining recognition in Paris for the quality of the cocoa produced in the area. However, international attention has had minimal impact with the chronic transportation problems that continue to plague the people of the Lower Watut. Scott Wade, National MTV News, Leigh.